<laughs> I always like misclick the unmute button. <laughs> but hello, good morning, good afternoon. Um, thank you to Kobobo, Kim, Mac, and Keelan for chatting in the Just Starting Soon screen. Welcome in, everybody. Do I have a Spotify playlist I can share? No, I use YouTube Music, not Spotify. So, I, I have no possible way to do so. Um, I was gonna stream on the alt channel today because I was feeling kind of sad, but you know what? I feel better now. It's like one of those things where you wash up, you do some chores, and you feel better. So, broke girl things. I mean, with YouTube Premium, you can get ads ad free on YouTube. You get un unlimited streaming on YouTube Music, and usually when an album comes out, then it's immediately on YouTube Music. So it's like, why not? Um, yeah, so I went grocery shopping this morning. <laughs> okay, so my sister, she's saving money, right? So I was like, hey, can I get grocery money? She, she's home, she's homesick today, she's fine. She just has an upset stomach. But anyway, so she can hear me talking. <laughs> so I can't talk too much shit today, okay? Um, yeah, have fun, peace, I do punching. Um, uh, she, she, indigestion, we think it is. We also went out for, like, chicken on Sunday, and then nobody, none of us got sick, but the chicken was like, <laughs> the fuck, Kim, shut up. Okay, I'm deleting that one. That one's weird, don't say shit like that, Kim, even if you're joking, don't say shit like that. It's all the ramen sheets, could be. But we all went... Everybody in the house went out for chicken on Sunday. And the chicken? Overpriced as shit. I think you got like a, an eight piece for like $18. It was crazy. It's, it's okay, Kim. It's okay. You're kind of new, so you gotta fill it out. My deepest apologies. Yeah, you gotta give me your prime next month. That's how, that's how I'll forgive you. Anyway. So we all went for chicken on Sunday. It was kind of ass. Very overpriced. And then I had like... This was very weird on Monday, okay? And then also my sister wasn't feeling good yesterday, so it probably was the food. Um, but anyway, so she's homesick today, so I can't talk too much shit. So I went grocery shopping this morning. My budget was $50, cause she's saving money for, like, something bigger she wants to buy. Cause usually my budget is $200, but my budget was $50. <laughs> but granted, granted. Because my usual budget is 200 for two weeks, so 100 a week. So basically, I only had $50 worth of grocery money for this week, which is fine. Because like with the way I prep, I only really need to cook three times a week. So I just bought like bare bone shit, no snacks, no drinks. Oh wait, actually I had to buy like a fruit smoothie. Because like, I get those pre-made like, um, Bolt House, I think the brand is. They also have the... You know the naked fruit smoothies? Like, even though, like, it's fairly high sugar content, it's, like, natural sugars, has a decent amount of fiber and vitamins, so it's, like, I'd rather just buy the pre-made smoothies than, like, buying the fresh fruit myself or frozen. Also saves time, so... And they taste pretty good. But, <laughs> I was... Because, like, I, I told you guys before, when I go grocery shopping, I have, like, my calculator open on my phone, like, calculating every single goddamn cent I spend. But yeah, I actually spent $60, but I had $10 in my account, so we're good. Um, yeah, but we're alive. We're doing Mario Kart. I don't know if we'll do Animal Crossing today. I'll, I'll see. Honestly, I think I'm burnt out on Animal Crossing. It's been like... When was the last time we even played? I think the beginning of January. I literally haven't touched Animal Crossing all of February. So I don't know if there's any, like, seasonal crops or anything. Wait, I gotta change the menu. Because I forgot the... Mario Kart menu music is very loud, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so we're playing games today, we're doing Mario Kart. I also have... We were trolling last week, but I literally didn't do any of my pre-written topics. So stream ends when I do all these topics. Screenshot, if you want to leak what the topics are. And I'm guessing is how I found you? Yeah, I feel like... <clears throat> As of recent on my TikTok, a lot of my Animal Crossing clips have been doing better than my Mario Kart ones, which is weird. But I did saw this one, um, like, TikTok clips thing. That was, let me see if I can show you guys on here. Also, my, my phone updated. Yes, I have two phones, okay? 
before anybody says anything. Um, I saw this one thing. Okay, so this is on my most recent clip. Wait, I should turn Do Not Disturb on. Hold. I don't get DMs on this phone anyway. Where is it? Do Not Disturb. Okay, now nobody can leak. But, shut up, Mac. I'm broke. If you look at the top, see right here how it says that text? Oh, right here. That's like the suggested category. So, <clears throat> anytime your video has a preloaded category, then the video does better. And sh shut the fuck up, Mag. Yes, I do. Oh, wait, you can't see it over here. <laughs> yes, I do have two laptops, but that laptop is exclusively for gifting chat subs. But if you're, if the algorithm categorizes your video, performs better. Because I've noticed any video that doesn't have a preloaded category, it flops. Anyway, chatters, go follow my TikTok. One for the main and one for the sides. You mean like bitches? Because <laughs> you know I got plenty. <laughs> okay, why is the Mario Kart music like muted for my TV? I can't even hear it. I'm, I think I'm deaf. Oh, it is playing. Okay, okay. There's some Animal Crossing music for now. Um, it's- it's wild, okay? It's crazy. Because what will happen is... Everybody, we're back, we're back. No need to refresh, we're back. Because what will happen... It's so fucking dumb. Because one of my capture cards, like one of my Elgatos, is buggy. I will buy one in a few months when I can afford to. But what happens is, when it crashes, it disables all Bluetooth on my fucking laptop. Like, you know how when you open your settings on your computer, it'll have, like, the Bluetooth icon? It literally pee-pee-poops. It goes gone. So, <clears throat> it makes the other capture card crash. It makes my headset disconnect. It makes my mouse freeze. Okay, we're back. <laughs> okay, let's see if the game is back. <laughs> Sorry, that was real loud. <laughs> the camera's frozen. Lamo. Okay, let's play the fucking game. <laughs> Enough stalling. <laughs> Thank you guys for waiting. I appreciate you all. Also, like, OBS updated the other day. So that could be the issue, too. Or it could just be my laptop. Maybe I should get a an actual PC, huh? 
Okay. <clears throat> it's gaming time. No more chatting. <laughs> Imagine I do 50 CC. <laughs> <laughs> okay, does anybody want to choose my character first person to tap in chat chooses? I think you should, yeah. Minus 2k. Cheater. Mac is not my least favorite viewer. Okay, so I think I want to do... Because since I haven't played Mario Kart in two weeks, and we probably are going to do the Meggy Sports Tournament on Sunday, I still need to make the graphics. They will be posted on Twitter probably tomorrow or maybe after stream today, depending. Um, my mom got a gaming laptop to play The Sims. Dude, why? <laughs> oh my god, that's great. I'm glad your mom likes the present I got her. Oh my god, hi, Deacon! It's been forever! Can we get some yos for Deacon? Hello? What was the last time we even chatted, man? Oh my god, December? Dude, it's been f two fucking months. Welcome in. It's been so long. But that doesn't mean we like you any less, right? Smile. Okay, let's get started on my topics, guys. I have, like, 15. <laughs> Me when I live? Sag. Okay, now- Okay, since I haven't played in two weeks, I'm gonna do all of the DLC tracks, and then we'll do online. And I'm actually gonna try hard. Fuck! <laughs> like, Red Shell took forever to get here. I see the holy dude these computers are cracked that's when your Wi-Fi turned off I th okay I think Deacon's in the UK so it doesn't really matter Oh my god! Thank you for that resub! Thank you, Deacon! Can we get some weekends in chat? Eight months? Holy moly! You're so close to that flower badge, man. Also, I'll fix TTS after this race. <laughs> what, do you not know the W meta? Have you not been in chat for that long? Come on! I knew that was gonna happen. I'm on second. Oh, Mario took the shortcut. I've been seeing so many videos of Super Nintendo World, and I really want to go, but I'm genuinely worried. Because since I can't walk for long, okay, this is actually something I was getting sad about the other day. Because I was like, if I can't walk, I'll probably need a wheelchair. And then it's like, then whoever I go with would have to help with that, because I don't know how to use a wheelchair. And then... Okay, I know there's like a lot of stigma. Just in general, but it's like... There's a lot of like invisible illnesses, right? To where you don't- you don't look disabled, and I don't think I look disabled, okay? Even though my brain is big, <laughs> I think I look normal, right? So it's like... There's so much like, anxiety that... Hmm. There's lots of places to sit, but like standing in line is gonna be a problem. I could get like one of those portable stets, like seats, I don't know. I don't know, it's like shit I don't want to think about. Because my sister really wants to go to Nintendo World, and she might plan it for like later this year. <clears throat> I'd use a rope for chill for six months, don't worry about it, you're gonna be okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, hon. People aren't as judgy as you think. I mean, you're in the UK, Americans are fucking... Insane. Oh wait, I said I was gonna change TTS. Hold. I don't know why it's not capturing the audio. <gasps> okay, wait, there it is. Oh shit. 
Okay, let me see if it works now. This is a test donation for $19. Okay, TTS works now. I fixed it. I've missed you playing Pokemon. It wasn't a real Pokemon game, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> One stop it. <laughs> I think the default test messages for like Streamlabs and Stream Elements are so funny. Oh, which starter did you pick? Um, I didn't play a real Pokemon game. Just watch the VOD. Easy. You you'll see what I mean. Why are there two people in front of me already? Also, I think I have my daily schedule just about figured out. I've decided oh, I'm no longer going to cook in the evening. Because since I usually wake up at 6 a.m. anyway, I decided it's like, why not just cook in the morning? That way I get finished by like 8 or 9, and then I can still stream at 11. So from this point on, quote me on this, if we hit any daily sub goal on stream, it will unlock an exclusive subscriber-only stream in the evening. Because I basically will do nothing later on in the day anyway. So... Why didn't you go out of your way to text me? Parasocial Andy! Oh, what the fuck? Don't be like ketchup! Mario! <gasps> Ain't no way! Thank you for that gifted sub, Mac. I appreciate you. Thank you! I went to Caspi and they're gonna enjoy that. Wait, hold. Chatters, hold. If we get one more gifted sub or a bit cheer or a prime sub, we will get hype train. Hi, Titans! Welcome in. What is this? Your mom. You've had a career change? What are you, what are you working at? Do you still work in the sweatshop? <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I mean, have you guys heard about the child labor here in the United States? And how legislators are currently pushing for like 13 year olds to like at work at McDonald's? Do you work at a hotel company? Do you get discounts? It's actually kind of cool. But HR, that sounds kind of scary. Oh, Mac, you both get your name written in the journal. Thank you. You bought yourself a new iMac? Let's go! I mean, definitely, the thing that I enjoyed once I started working, because I only started working once I was out of high school, being able to buy things for myself. Like, I was able to buy myself, like, snacks and clothes. I saved up to get, like, new tech. Like, I was able to buy, like, my own laptop and TV. Because when you have an allowance, I barely had an allowance growing up. I got maybe 10 bucks a month. Because we we're brokies. I think it's also very prideful when you can buy things on your own, you know? Hi, Danuki. Welcome in. I'm doing pretty good. Hi, Trey. PC. Cheers, Nicker. <laughs> Thank you, Keelan, for the 100 bits. I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, Chatters. We need one more person. One more person. Fuck good. <clears throat> it didn't go off yet because the timer ran out. Any Oilers mod check? Oh wait, can we get some Beasley to use for Tanuki? Oh, uh, Tanuki will probably do the tournament on Sunday as usual. I don't know what the topic will be, but I will announce it tomorrow. Okay, I'm actually tryharding. <laughs> the most agonizing thing is missing out on item boxes, huh? I said hi, train PC to evil smile. <laughs> Thank you, Keelan, for another 100 bits. Thank you. Thank you. Can we get some Wheelins? Why are there so many banana peels? Oh! Fuck. I fell off. I fell off. We need somebody else besides Mac or Keelan. 
Because the way that hype trains work is you need individual people, not transactions. We love getting you. Any, any primers? <clears throat> okay, I actually, I need to read for my card. I need to stop stalling. What's the card? It's a card of topics. I'll talk about it in a second. <laughs> I don't know, but for some reason I'm so scared. I don't know why I'm so scared. about this earlier <laughs> but <laughs> as I was waiting at the bus stop this morning there's like two gyms right by the bus stop and I was thinking to myself I was like new dream GF would be a gym brat okay <laughs> oh ain't no way Kim rare gifter first time gifted to the channel holy can we get some whim tutors in chat <laughs> but thank you Kim I appreciate that, hun. Wait, pause. Pause. I joined the gym in the last two weeks? Well, you're not a girly. <laughs> okay. Hold. Everybody hold. Kim, you will get your name written in the rich person journal at the end of stream. Also, chat has unlocked a hype train. If you don't know what those are, if you subscribe with Prime, regular tier one, or gift, and also cheer bits, you can earn exclusive Twitch emotes in the chat. Does anybody currently have hype emotes of their own? Go ahead and put your favorite in the chat room. My personal favorite is the hype high. That's my favorite. So you guys have four minutes. Go crazy. Back to the game. <clears throat> Wait a minute. What? Yeah, any primers? <laughs> what does sacrifice yourself mean? Let me disable that. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Leaderboard's back on screen. It's exactly what it sounds like. Shut up, bag. Shut up. Let me disable it. Okay, it's, it's, it's gone. It's gone. I will sing a song? Should I do that now? I can do it now. Okay. So I'm like really excited to stream today. I don't know why. When was the last time I streamed Saturday? <clears throat> yeah, we usually do Cold of the Lamb for subscriber only streams. Cause if I did it for like a regular stream, it'd kill my numbers. <clears throat> I haven't sung this song in a bit. I'm gonna try this one. This is... <laughs> Quick. <laughs> this is Better Than This by Set It Off. This is my favorite single from their most recent album, Elsewhere. <clears throat> I feel like Twitch trends change so much. Not really. Emote only, Chad. Why? Okay, go crazy, go crazy. Everybody put your favorite sub, your favorite animated, your favorite follower emotes too will work. Okay. Also, we have two minutes left on the hype train. <clears throat> should I do the chorus or should I try a verse? <clears throat> I'll do the chorus. <clears throat> okay, guys, ready? I saw peace I to L and I got sad. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the chorus. I need to love you better than this. What am I doing? One more slip and I'm gonna lose you. 
I got to get my shit together and love you, many I better before you change your mind and slam the front door and leave me behind and I think I'd hate myself forever. I need to love you better than this. Ooh, yeah. Cause there's nothing better than this. There we go. That was good. Also, thank you, Bobo, for that gifted sub. Holy. Can we get some wool bobos? Oh, wait, you guys can't type. <laughs> It's <laughs> so stupid. Why did you do emote only chat? Emote only chat sucks. But thank you. Yeah, can we get some peace? I too loves for Kobobo. Thank you, dude. I hate emote only chat. I should disable that redemption forever. But thank you. Also, chatters. <laughs> We are 30 minutes into stream, so it's time for me to tell you, if you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Any new followers? Okay, I've noticed, anytime I mess up, I will literally do this every fucking time now. And I don't know why. I have, I'm, I'm clueless. I don't know why I do it. It's a bad habit. Because then I, I take my hand off the controller. And I've noticed I do it when I play offline too. Get boom. Hi, Chib. Can we get some peace like two yo's? Welcome in. Because first I started doing like my hand on my head is a bit for stream, right? And then I start doing it normally. It's so bad. Wait, hold. First place? Why do I get two reds in first? What is wrong with the items? Easy. Okay, we have two minutes left of emo chat and three minutes left on that hype train. Any Oilers? <clears throat> oh wait, I was gonna talk about the card. <laughs> One more slip and I'm gonna lose you It's so good <clears throat> I think this or no Oh wait, I gotta tell you guys about the ARC channel So last week I requested a P.O. box a few towns away So I have to go in in person and turn in paperwork And then I can get my website set up So I think this week I'm gonna start working on like figuring out what paints to buy Cause you can paint with like I'm gonna change the character I'm gonna change the character every pre, so don't worry. Let's go. So like I wanna try work with house paint. Cause it's usually more opaque. Um it's cheaper because acrylics are expensive. So I'm gonna probably order some paint online. Cause you can get like eight ounce sample paint from like Home Depot for five bucks. Okay, you guys are free. Have fun. <clears throat> and also, if I can buy, like, the house paint in bulk, then I don't need to mix colors every time I paint. Because I'm going to make replicas of these paintings back here. You're addicted to Overwatch? Not gonna lie. I don't like watching FPS gameplay because I just don't understand it. I don't get it. You like the Ema only chat? <laughs> Why? Is it because you feel like everybody's powerless? Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Honestly. Wait, Chatters, we have 30 seconds left on that hype train. 30 seconds. And during hype train? Yeah, that was an, honestly an L. I mean, I don't care, though. If you guys have fun.
Guys, this is the best Mario Kart gameplay you'll ever see in Twitch. Sorry, my, my controller fell off my lap. I did not throw it. I can't. I can't. Oh my god. I, I did not do that on purpose. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> controller fell off. Let's raise you. Yeah. But thank you, chatters, for that hype train. We got three subs and 200 bits. Thank you. The hand on the head thing, you do it too? Fuck. Wait, sub goal met? How? Any Oilers? Wait, you guys know what that means. Um, since we hit our daily sub goal, we are gonna do an evening stream. So, we can either do cold- yeah, we'll do cold with the lamb and a sub only this evening. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, if anybody participated in Hype Train, did you get any new emotes? Any new ones? What is that? What? What is what? What is what, mate? I think the whole world has collectively agreed that the only accent you can make fun of is British people, okay? That's the only acceptable... I was gonna say racism, but I don't want to say that. Because <laughs> it sounds funny, okay? I I'll stop, though. I'll stop. I'll stop. Okay, I actually need to look at my cue card now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm debating if I just want to make the cue card bit a bit and just never read from it. Oh shit. I think this has to be the worst track in the whole game. Oh my god, these computers are crazy good. They're stream sniping. Can't relate, I have my 9 to 5. Dude, I wish I could work. I genuinely wish I could. I'm just kind of worried to start working. Because, like, I don't- Oh my god. I don't want to work until I can request accommodations. Dude, this turn, this turn. But I have been considering. I kind of want to try Zumba or something. Because I do have like my exercise game at home, but I haven't touched it in a few months because I don't want to like push myself too much physically. But once my doc- OH MY GOD! Once my doctor okays that I can do more like strenuous exercise, then I think I might consider getting a gym membership or doing like Zumba or something. Because I, I feel like if you have somewhere to go, then I feel like I'm going to be more likely to actually exercise. Because it's not that I want to be, like, super skinny, because I don't personally like that look for myself. I've always been kind of plump. I like how I look, but I understand that, like, if I do exercise more seriously, then I'll be able to just go through my dailies better. <laughs> okay, at least I'm in first. You can drive now? Dude, let's fucking go. I mean, definitely once I graduate, I'm projected to graduate in, I think, July or August, because I have, like, five, four or five more classes left. Then I think I can try to work. Because then I can, I'll have more time for it, because school takes about 20 to 30 hours a week. <clears throat> I love driving Grand Theft Auto style. Uh-oh. actually robbed. Okay, let's actually start talking about my shit. It's 40 minutes and-
Oh, this morning as I was like waiting at the bus stop, because it's been really windy in my area. They're stealing all my item boxes. <laughs> it's been really windy in my area. Just in Washington in general right now. But there were these like city workers like sawing down like a metal traffic pole. Oh my fucking god, I'm rusty. I give me an hour to warm up, okay? I have 20 minutes left to warm up. Ooh, I didn't trick off the mushroom that time. Anything about insurance. Like if the worker tells me that I need to I need to pay a thousand a month, I'll just be like, sure, okay. Because <laughs> I have no semblance of like what it should be. Come on, get him! Oh come on, you already crossed the fucking finish line. Damn. 4k a year, so that's... That's a little less than... That's like 300-ish a month, right? Or a little more than 300. That's crazy. <laughs> Insurance is that green lizard thing, right? Yes, of course. Surely, I hate this track. Does anybody like this track? It's literally the worst. Okay, actually, let's look at the cue card now. Will you pay annually? Really? I didn't know you could pay like that. I think one of the glories about stream content is that the commentary won't necessarily be the same every time. Granted, you do have to talk when you stream. Because you ever been a streamer and they don't fucking talk and it's awkward as shit? But I usually don't pre-prep my topics. But I've, I've seen so many, like, Twitch tip videos where they're like, Ooh, write down a list of five things you want to talk about. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. So usually throughout my week, I'll write down, like, little anecdotal thoughts or things that have happened on a cue card. It's right here. Look at that. So... I haven't gotten used to the cue card ideas, so the running bit has been, Oh, I'm gonna look at my cue card for topics, and then I just don't look at the card. I think this is like the third week we've done the bit, and since I don't use the topics on the card, I have like 20 things written down. So that means I have content for weeks, guys. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this game. <laughs> It's Pancake Tuesday? Are you talking about school lunch? I've never- Oh my fucking god. I've never had a good pancake. The only time I've had a decent pancake is, I think, from IHOP, and it was like some strawberry cheesecake flavor. But otherwise, I don't like pancakes. Oh, it's a UK holiday? Oh, that's why I don't know what it is. First, easy. So are you guys going to get pancakes then? Okay, where's my pencil? I want to stream, but it's not ideal because loud parents? Same. Same. So what you do, Chip, is you change your mic settings to only pick up like two feet around you. Because, like, the issue I had was that, like, my parents are just loud in general. But the only time my mic would pick up what they were doing is when my dad would be chopping wood, like, literally right next door to my room. So you just gotta adjust your mic settings. But it does take a while to, like, troubleshoot audio and shit. Wait, I got second overall? Uh-oh. I fell off.
You moved out last month? Let's fucking go. That's great, man. Adulting is horrible. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I think it's not. I feel like it's been. Let's play Luigi. It's been a while since we've done Luigi. I feel like it's a lot easier for me because. Like, I'm not working, so I don't necessarily have to worry about, like, financially. But. I like. I have, like, all the logistics. And. I have all the logistics stuff figured out. Like, I can budget fairly well. I can grocery shop. I can navigate town on my own. I'm fairly, like... It's because, like, I don't like relying on people if I don't need to. Like, the only thing I'm... I primarily will have to rely on is, like, if I need to get grocery money. So my sister... My sister's been, like, helping me pay for shit. So, shoutouts to her. You guys will never meet her. Sad. But I think the big thing is, I was thinking about this a lot recently, I don't know if- Okay. <laughs> what- How do I say this nicely? I don't know if I'll ever like- It's not that I don't want to be in a relationship ever again, but I just genuinely don't think it will happen. Because, like, I can be all sappy and say, ooh, someone will come along, all that jazz, but I just don't know. Because I feel like I just have so much, like, shit going on, like, mentally and physically. It's like, I don't know if somebody can, like, handle that. I'll share my pancakes with you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it could be fate. I don't know. It could... I... It's not that I don't believe it'll happen, but... I'm kind of scared for when it does. Because, like, I have mega trust issues, okay? I'm... <laughs> I'm messed up. But... Oh my fucking god! And I'm, I'm kind of scared. I'm like, what if they leave me? <laughs> Maybe you should download Twit Tinder so we can swipe on you? No! <laughs> Redeem Tinder swipe? No! Do not bang your fans! Do not do it. Any streamer, big or small, don't fuck your fans. Oh, we'll swipe for you, not on you. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. That's a bit better. See, it's one word, okay? <laughs> one word can drastically change a sentence, can it? <laughs> you know some people will do the um what is it called where they look at your tinder profiles i always find those streams so entertaining like i love when amaranth does it I don't think I'll ever do a dating app, though. Because I feel like I would need to, like, know the person first before I could date them. Um, chatters, don't self-report your age. Don't do it. Oh, I could go... There we go. Easy! I think in order to have a relationship go well, you have to be emotionally mature enough and also be able to communicate. Because I feel like every single angsty moment in any, like, romance show or even, like, talking to friends and shit, it ultimately comes down to miscommunication or someone not being honest, right? Oh no, I went the wrong way! <laughs> You've been with your boyfriend for three years? That's so cute. I want to do a stream where I play like all the retro Mario Kart games, but I feel like if I can't even handle the newest one in terms of mechanics, I don't know if I can handle the original Mario Kart. Why 
I'm good you guys made it work. That's nice. Because, like, the way I see it, if someone is willing to stick with you through hardship, then that's a really good sign that it, that it might work. Because, you know the cliche? If you don't want me at my worst, you can't have me at my best. So the Mario Kart was released in the direct and it's hard to play in 2D? Yes. Like, even just watching people play, like on stream or whatever, it looks insanely difficult. Oh my god, because you lose that sense of perception and depth. Because if there's not, like, proper shading, then it's very hard to see, like, how far away thi- How far away things are. 2D Mario? Yeah. If you have one of the Nintendo- Fuck premium like membership accounts then you can play a lot of the older like early gen console games oh my god <laughs> i don't think anybody can make it through that tunnel alive Yeah, the levels where you have to like jump over water, I think that's insane. Because I'm not good with timing. Uh, there'll be one stream where I eventually will do it, but I gotta like become a pro gamer first. How long have you worn glasses? I've had glasses since about 7th grade, but I've needed them my whole life. Because we would have like annual vision exams in elementary, and the school nurse would be like, Hey Megan, you should tell your doctor that you need glasses. And tell your parents too, and then I would tell my mom, and then she would never get me glasses. <laughs> Sag. <laughs> but it's aight. Because essentially my vision, it's not extremely deteriorated, but it's like going from like 480p to 1080p. That's kind of what my normal vision is like. But my my left eye is nearsighted and my right eye is farsighted. So essentially if I don't wear my glasses all the time, then it puts too much strain on my right eye. And then if I keep doing that, it's going to fuck up both of my eyes. What emote is that? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> That's weird. Okay, chatter, does anybody remember the PSI2 nope emote we used to have as a sub emote? Somebody called it ugly. Like in another chat. Because one of my friends used it in their chat and then she clipped them saying, What is that emote? It's ugly. And it was me just shaking my head. And I got- I genuinely got upset because I was like, are they calling me ugly? I'll bully them? No, don't do it. No, it, no, we should- do not, do not, no. I would never advocate for that shit. I don't even remember who it was, it was just some random fucking streamer. <laughs> so I don't even know the name. But I was getting sad because she sent me the clip and I got sad. I was like, are they calling me ugly? But granted, like, the motion and the uh, emote was kind of weird, not gonna lie. But I guess that's what I get for showing my face. Oh, the streamer has a tremor. Is that kind of like, you know, like the more edgy humor? 
it, it, I think it would be the best equivalent is to if like if I made a big brain emote, you know, make it just making fun of your disability. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Oh, it's in from H3. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. <laughs> that makes so much sense. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my. <laughs> Mod check. Oh, okay, so it's more for Goofin and Gaffin? Okay, that's good, that's good. Oh, the pre's over, easy. Almost cancelled yourself? I feel like I do that every stream. Like, if if y'all can hear my real opinions? Uh-oh. Nah. I'm not that crazy. But you know what is crazy? Watching ads on Twitch. Because guys, we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. But, you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad reviewing all month long. Or... You can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. We did get a Prime today. Any more? Um, also, if you are new to the channel and you aren't following, follow the channel. Click the button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Any new followers? Also, if you gift a sub, I will eat a chocolate. I owe chat six. And then we got... Three today. Fuck. So that means I... No, we're back to nine chocolates. Oh wait, let's run the ad. <laughs> Remember on Saturday's stream I got zooted on the sugar? Chocolate wasted? No, it was not wasted! We have three more! So that means I owe nine. So two, four, six... Oh, there's, there's exactly nine in this box. What the hell have I missed? I mean, just for February for Valentine's, if you give the sub, I will eat a chocolate. I thought you actually meant zooted. No, I just... <laughs> I use it colloquially. <laughs> is it me? Or is it me? Or I really just like dark orgy humor? I feel like... With edgy humor, you have to, like, know your audience. So, for example, if it makes you with your friends and then it makes you uncomfortable, you should express that it makes you uncomfortable, right? I think edgy humor is for people who use, like, um, comedy as a coping mechanism. So it's not necessarily for everybody. <laughs> Wait, what does zooted mean? <laughs> Is, is zooted marijuana or alcohol? Hold. Oh, it says drunk or stoned. It says both. I would never get high, guys. I would never do it. I'm a goody good. The one thing I did not miss about Deacon is that they call me old all the time, and I don't get it. I'm literally turning 23 in a month. I'm not that old. Or 20. I'm 23 right now. I'm turning 24 in a month. Oh, that chocolate was actually really good. Okay, back to work. <clears throat> First person to type two is my character. First person. Sorry, this this chocolate is making me like drool. Yoshi, okay. I also had Nutella this morning. On a muffin. And Nutella is so thick. When you eat it, it's almost like you're chewing with peanut butter on the top of your mouth. It was not pleasant. I think it's also because I globbed like... 
A whole ass tablespoon on my muffin? I'm not old and didn't know what Zuda was. Don't worry, Megan, thank you. Wait, why is Keelan being a wholesome chatter today? What's going on? <laughs> it's supposed to be the reverse. You're supposed to be nice and then a troll, not the other way around. thinking to myself this morning, if I go to the gym, would it be weird if I wore a mask? Because, just in general, I feel like nobody wears a mask now anyway, but I usually try to like when I'm on the bus or just in any public setting. But back when I used to work, at like the peak of the pandemic, when I bike to work, I would wear a mask I was, as I was biking. And biking is like really strenuous, right? And I was fine. Oh, okay, no, I was not like fine, fine. But I was, I could manage it. People at your gym do wear masks? Okay, cause it's like, I don't... It, cause I was talking, I'm gonna talk to my sister about it later. Cause... I'm only gonna start going to the gym if she's comfortable with it. So I was like... Because, okay, anybody who wears glasses, it's basically impossible to do any form of, like, anything with a mask on and glasses. Like, it's very difficult. But when I exercise, I can't wear my glasses anyway because they fog up. So it's like, I, I think I could wear a mask because I exercise. But I was thinking, too, like, if I want to do, like, the Zumba, I don't think anybody would be, like, right up on my ass. So I feel like there'd be, like, adequate distance. I'll just have to make sure I'm wearing, like, a non-cloth mask. Oh! I have a bong! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I forgot I got scared. So, uh, it's something I want to think about, because, like, I have- I haven't not worn a mask in public in forever. The only time I did- Oh, what was actually really off-putting? Um... Water aerobics would be really good. I know, but I can't swim yet, so I would have to learn how to swim. So that's like another hurdle. But okay, I'll, I'll talk about- wait, I haven't told the MRI story at all yet. Okay, well, I'll tell that story first. <clears throat> okay, okay. I've been workshopping this joke for three weeks now. <clears throat> Okay, so a few weeks ago, I had to get an MRI done because of my brain. Turns out my brain is too big for my skull. Anyway, so I've never gotten like any medical procedure that was like an MRI. From what I've heard, it's either people don't mind it or it's the worst experience of their lives, okay? Because essentially you go into this big plastic tube and then they take pictures of your insides. And... I didn't- I wasn't too scared. I wasn't too scared. Cause like, the doctor I had was really nice. He was really nice. Cause I told him it was my first ever procedure, like, he was super nice with me. Um, but essentially you have to- you have to get naked, you have to put, like, gowns on. And then you lay down in this tube, you have headsets and earplugs on. And you have to lay still for 40 minutes to an hour so they can take pictures. And <laughs> it was really loud. Because essentially, the sounds of machines would be like, there, there was always like a ch -ch 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 type sound. And I asked the doctor, because he asked me like, oh, what music do you want to listen to? And I was like, well, I kind of want to try 2000s pop. So just imagine what it sounded like was you're in the club, and then somebody puts on Diamonds by Rihanna. And it's their first time DJing, and they're just putting random boops and bops. It's like somebody got their first ever synthesizer and they're trying it out. And it was also scary because like the machine rumbles too. <laughs> oh. But so that, it wasn't that bad. I got it done in 30 minutes because I literally didn't move. And also depending on what procedure you get, like what type of, what part of your body they scan, 
they have to like inject some syrups <laughs> I almost said serum some like type of fluid that like makes your veins more visible in the pictures and then I didn't freak out when you put the needle in um so that was my first MRI I got. It was actually a pretty good experience. Another thing that was super scary about it too, because when I walked in, I got to the office early as you should. Oh my God, hi Vora. Can we get some yo's? Hi Vora. I really wanted to get, oh yeah, definitely chip. If you wanna like get into exercise, do the ring fit. I did ring fit for a while. It's actually pretty good. Um. <clears throat> I heard people pee when they do that. Wait, in the MRI? That's what I was kind of scared of, because, like, you can't wear anything from outside because essentially the way it takes pictures is it's like a huge magnet, so you can't have any metal. If you have any, like, metal inside of you, you have to disclose that, because obviously it's not going to tear out from inside your body, but they still have to know. Fuck. Um. Uh, but anyway, so I got to the office early, and they couldn't see me till like nearly 40 minutes after my check-in time. And the reason why was because they had to do like an emergency MRI. So when I walked down to like the MRI rooms, because it was in the city general hospital, so like there's a whole bunch of like rooms and shit. There was somebody like on a stretcher, like freaking out, and. I <laughs> And I didn't say anything because I was scared. And then the doctor was like, yeah, we had an emergency patient, so don't worry about it. As I see somebody, like, freaking out on a stretcher, I'm like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's how it is in the hospitals. Um, but I was also thinking, because, like, for, the, for that type of procedure, you have to be, like, naked underneath the gowns. So it's like, what do you do if you're, like, on your cycle? Like... Do they, like, let you wear, like, a diaper or something? Granted, I don't have a period anymore because I'm on birth control. Um, but I was thinking about that as I was getting the procedure done. I was like, what would you do? Or, like, what if you have, like, really bad... Um... Not IBS. But, like, what if you can't control your bowels? A tampon? Probably. Probably, yeah. I've never used one, though, and I'm scared. I mean, I don't have that problem anyway. I haven't, I haven't had a cycle in like nearly holy almost four years because i got it in summer of 20 or 2019 yeah <clears throat> girl talk <laughs> okay anyway so that was my first mri i got like three weeks ago right and then i had to get another one last week and this one didn't go as nicely it wasn't as nice because the doctor i had this time um First off, she wasn't wearing her mask properly. Like, she had it, like, not covering her nose, which I found off-putting. Because most health professionals are, like, really good about masking up, right? And... So that was weird. And then she, like, got me checked in. I changed into my gown. And then what happened the first time was I had to wear, like, a special mask that didn't have, like, metal in the nose bridge. So I, I kept my mask on until I went into the room. I was like, oh, do you, do you have a mask for me to wear? And she's like, oh, actually, you don't need one. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and what's kind of nice for me is that whenever I do wear a mask in public, since I have glasses, I kind of have to, like, regulate my breathing in, like, all day, every day, whenever I do wear it, because I kind of have to, like not breathe too heavily to make my glasses fog, right? So during my first MRI, any time where I did kind of like internally freak out, I had to like focus on like breathing properly. So this time, I didn't have a mask on because she was like, oh, you shouldn't wear it anyway. I was like, okay. So I couldn't like regulate my breathing as well. So I was kind of like internally freaking out. Because also this MRI tube was smaller than the first one. Because I think the other procedure I had gotten done was for, like, people who, let's say, people who need a bigger tube, okay? Because there was, like, nearly a foot clearance from my head to the top of the tube. But in this one, there was literally, like, three inches from my nose to- Fuck me! Oh my god! <laughs> there was, like, three inches from my nose to the top of the tube. So there were- It was a very small tube. 
And like, I don't get claustrophobic usually, but this time I kind of did, because I was like, why is this tube smaller than the one I was in before? And also like, when they put you in, they don't strap you in or anything, but they put like this plastic cage over you. It's kind of like a hockey ski mask. It's to prevent you from like moving. But she didn't put the cage on right. Like she didn't, cause like it locks in place. She didn't lock it in properly. So it was like touching my fucking nose. Oh my God, it was bad. And like the, the nurse was kind of rude. And then like halfway through, they have to like put the fluid in, right? And when they pulled me out, there was like a different nurse. And the nurse who initially helped me was gone, so I was like, what the fuck? But, it's fine. Am I gonna have to get them off in? Um, hopefully not. Um, because based on my conditions that I, they know of, the only real- they only really will develop over the course of like, six months at a time. So I would probably only really need to get them like every half a year. Oh, I saw your question, Voro, but it seems you answered it yourself, Lamau. <laughs> you feel like you're in some type of dystopian horror when you hear them over the intercom? I know, it's weird! Because, like, the second time I went and I asked them to play, like, um, the Vessel album by 21 Pilots. Because, like, that album, it just kind of- it sounds, like, beepy and boppy, so, like, the, sa the sounds of the actual machine didn't, like, um, bother me as much. But, like, whenever they would, like, try to talk to you throughout, um, they would pause the music and then it would just be, like, them really loud in your ear through the headphones. Okay, first person to type, choose my character. They should do a Yelp on nurses and doctors. I think there are some websites like that. But the problem is... Um, <clears throat> Peach, thank you, Keelan! Let's go. The problem is, there's usually reviews for, like, your actual doctor, like, your specialist. But for the people who do procedures, those are just like nurses. So you don't- you can't really choose who the nurse is gonna be. Are you gonna ask for Megan the Stallion next time? No. I haven't listened to a lot of her music. I know I should, but... I just don't like rap as much. <coughs> Okay, I'm, I actually need to practice this one. This is- these are the new, new DLCs. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you. Oh. No. Wait, the- the Wave 4 DLC was announced, right? Does anybody remember what day it was? I can look it up later, but does anybody remember? Because we'll do those on stream. Did it really just say spring? That sucks. <clears throat> Sorry, I- What? Okay. I looked away for a second and I screwed myself. weeks ago I'm just gonna lie in my twitch titles <laughs> and I think today is a great example of that this is guaranteed the worst fucking gameplay you'll see on the fucking website oh my god holy wait I want to cut through here wait hold sixth place Greatest comeback. Oh, I should have held. Never mind, best gamer. 
Why do you look so angry? Because I was focusing. You don't like mainstream music? I kind of agree with that. I feel like most every mainstream song is a TikTok song. Because sometimes I'll look up like the greatest hits of the month and so many of them are like on TikTok. The comeback? Yeah, it's the best comeback of the century. Best gameplay is subjective? True. Okay, debatably, I don't have the best gameplay, but I think I'm pretty good at commentating, right? And interacting with the chat, right? Do you guys agree? Smile. Because sometimes I'll browse the Discover tab occasionally, and so many Mario Kart streamers don't talk. Because if you don't talk as you game, then people won't chat. And if people don't chat, then new viewers aren't gonna watch. Any new chatters here? <laughs> <laughs> silent Mario Kart? Should we all go silent? Please don't. Please don't. If I don't- If I do a stream- Fuck. If I ever stream where there- I have literally no chatters, I'm never streaming again. I, I won't stream again. No joke. Because if you don't have a chat, then what's the point of streaming? Oh, come on! I would've had him! ASMR Mario Kart? Shit, I was doing it for the bit, but I forgot I was actually racing. <laughs> I was gonna set up a controller cam, but then it would just be crotch cam, and I don't, I don't think that's safe. <laughs> Ghosting you on stream? Okay, for regular chatters, lurkers are great. Okay, you guys have fun. Don't ever feel like you need to chat. But for people who chat, wouldn't you be sad if you couldn't chat anymore? Like you guys were saying earlier, Ooh, I hate emote only mode. It's like that. <laughs> Speaking of that, no, don't do it. <laughs> I legit cried emo only mode. I think that just means I've gotten you guys addicted to chatting, which is what I wanted. I would kind of just sit there. Yeah. Because the main ways that I consume stream content is either I'm an active chatter. Or, I usually just sit and listen to it in the background as I'm doing something else. Like, I think the streams that I, like, lurk in the most is... Definitely Hassan, because I can, like... I literally watched all of Hassan's stream yesterday. Because I was just doing housework all day yesterday. And then, I usually will watch Squeaks in the evening. We've all been manipulated. <laughs> You all have fallen for my trap. We're no, you guys are not victims. Shut the fuck up. This is not Stockholm syndrome. What have I ever, what have I ever done to you guys that has been bad? Okay, have I ever been evil? Have I ever mistreated you guys? Okay, the only thing I can legitimately think of is if I call somebody like a dumbass. But I I always say I always say it with like. Love. Ah, no, okay, that's the wrong word. That's the wrong word. I always mean it playfully. You still watch when it's sub only? Sag. Yeah, because I think for sub only streams, like, non subs can watch for a little while, they just can't chat. You make fun of my accent? Oh, wait, I thought the race was still going. You were mean to me once? Wait, what did I do? And why did you come back? <laughs> okay, I don't think- I'm trying to think. 
I think there's only been one time where I like joked with somebody and then they unfollowed like later that day. I think what happened was, I think they asked, oh, what are you doing on stream today? And then I said, oh my god, read the title. It's literally in the, in the title, dumbass. And I said it jokingly. But I think I actually hurt their feelings because they unfollowed. And I felt so bad. I was like, damn. When you called me out for unsubbing when... Okay, Kim. <laughs> you said that on purpose. You knew. You knew. But that was good. I mean, I'm a Hufflepuff, so loyalty, loyalty is a trait. Okay, valid. That means Chip is gonna be a forever viewer. We love that. Thanks for the sub, aren't you unemployed? <laughs> no, I think what happened was, I was like, Kim, didn't you used to give me your prime sub, and now you don't? Cringe. And then they were like, I got laid off. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a stream moment that'll go down in history. Best moments of 2023. <laughs> I told my friends about IRL. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Do they hate me? I want to tell, because, like, there's obviously some stream on Strowman's. Okay, there's obviously some stream moments that I Fuck, I cannot talk! There are obviously some stream moments that I feel like are funny, that anybody would think are funny. And I, I like legitimately want to tell my friends who aren't into Twitch what happened, but I feel like they won't get it. It's kind of like, you gotta be there to get it, you know what I mean? Or sometimes, like, I'll explain it to my sister, and, like, she knows of Twitch, she doesn't watch any content, but she understands it for the most part. And I'll tell her something, like, funny that happened in chat, and she's like, That's cool! <laughs> you did reject me on our first date? It wasn't a date! Wait, actually, wait, it was, never mind. That does not count. <clears throat> no. They found you funny? Then they, sh they should watch the stream, easy. But if a streamer is rude, I'm out. I think it depends. Because there's obviously some clips where, like, I feel like the streamer pops off for no reason and is, like, really mean. And then there's also times where, like, a chatter will, like, be intentionally antagonizing them and then the streamer pops off. It's kind of like, if you, like, are pushing somebody's buttons, I think you should expect to be, like... For them to get catty. But if it's like unwarranted, then that's not cool. I promise as soon as I get my down payment, I'll be oiling for real on God on God. Okay, one more computer game and then I'll finally do online. Um, first person to type chooses my character. Like the type of route that downgrades a person? I agree. I feel like that definitely crosses the line. I agree. Wario, fuck you. Cheater. I hate Wario. I feel like sometimes... Hmm. I don't know. I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to think of how to phrase this. Wait, didn't I just do this? No, I didn't. Okay, sorry. The tracks look very similar. The city ones? I feel... Because, like, there's obviously some stream clips 
to where like somebody will like donate TTS or use a sound alert to like distract the streamer during a an epic gamer moment. But I feel like if the streamer reacts negatively to that paid donation essentially, I feel like that's bad and very disingenuous. Because if you don't want to be distracted, then, then just don't have those alerts enabled. Because I only recently enabled TTS a few months ago because I feel like at this point, I kind of understand my chat room and I understand that like people respect the kind of unspoken rules of TTS. But I, I don't have like scream or scary alert sounds because I genuinely think that will upset me if somebody does redeem it, so I just don't enable it. You should not give the tools for people to be mean and if you if you genuinely don't want them to use it. It makes them seem so ungrateful. I know, I agree. I think it primarily done depends on the dynamic between you and your chat room. Because I feel like some streamers like you'll see some small streamer clips and like they're just like genuinely being mean to some of their viewers. But I feel like some people like that, I don't know. I don't watch a lot of streamers or content creators in general who make their content off of being mean or like farming drama. Cause you know, I don't need drama in my life. I think it's best to be as kind as you can. Yes, you can joke, goof, and gaff, but you still have to understand that there's like limits to how far a joke can go. I think the furthest I will go is I will like call a chatter a dumbass, but jokingly, I will never say it like seriously. Easy. I support paying streamers because it's like you're paying for content, but you have to earn that. You don't just get it automatically by streaming. Exactly. I agree fully. I used to have the mentality of any stream that I would watch, I would try to like gift a sub or cheer bits because I felt like it's kind of like tipping your service worker. Like especially for stream or YouTube content when that content is essentially free, I feel like it's a nice gesture to where like if I enjoy this I want to help support the person. But I never think it's fair if somebody is like... <laughs> I don't want to say begging for subs or donations, but I've seen a few, like, clips where people are like, Oh, I'm not gonna turn my camera on until I get a gifted sub. And I feel like that's kind of like, uh That's kind of like, uh Now that's a way to farm, but probably not the best way. I think I've only said that once during a, a starting soon screen, but I said it jokingly. <laughs> I didn't mean it seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Those people are weirdos, yeah. I think because once you have an established audience and once you kind of like have a baseline amount in which like you're expected to receive in donations every day, it's kind of like you just expect it to happen and then you you get disappointed when it doesn't. It's kind of like if your mom makes you breakfast every day, that's part of your routine, you expect that to happen. And then the one day your mom is too tired to make breakfast and you get upset because you're used to that kind of stability almost. When that happens, you can tell they're in it for the money. I can understand that perspective, but for a lot of people, when you get to the point to where streaming or YouTube can be like your actual main source of income, it changes it completely. Like, the dynamic between you and your audience changes. Your ability to, like, actually make content that you want to make changes. Because you have to hyper-focus on, like, your analytics or your donation amount. It's a very hard thing to navigate and you don't necessarily understand it until you experience it yourself. Thankfully, um... I don't- it'll be a long time until I get to that point, unfortunately, but you know, it's fine. I don't think I should rely on any form of content creation for full income. Oh my god, why so many? I'm getting a second.
Jamie should be having fun and building community. Exactly. Exactly. You should only stream if you're having fun. If you aren't having fun, then what's the point? Talking about having fun, um, if you follow the channel, you can have fun in the chat room by being able to type and getting exclusive follower-only emotes. Any new followers? And if you are already following, make sure your notifications turned on, that way you don't miss a single stream. You are robbed, yeah, every day. Okay, I think the only stream where I was like, I didn't beg for subs, but I was like really hamming people on was my first affiliate stream. If no, literally nobody was here for that. I think the only viewer who chats somewhat regularly who watched before I was an affiliate is Vora. Because I think Vora found me randomly when I was playing Odyssey. Oh my god, stop! Because I had like so many gimmicks and goofs planned for if I received any subs during my first affiliate stream. And I think I got... Let's see. Fuck. I got four regular subs and then I gifted myself five. Oh my god, screw this map. <laughs> But I was like hamming it up, but like obviously I didn't understand how dynamic should work at that point because that was a little over a year ago. It's because you should learn to develop a relationship with your viewers over time. I agree with that. To an extent. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, I'm embarrassed. That was horrible. <laughs> Best gameplay on Twitch, everybody. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Because I think it is nice to like have a badge in chat. It, it kind of makes you feel almost like better when compared to other chatters. But I still think it's important to have like the same level of. I guess you could say engagement with like non subscriber watch or non sub watchers. Because, like, if you think about it in like a larger streamer's chat, even if the average is like a thousand viewers, probably like maybe half of the people watching are actually subbed. So, you can't give your paying channel members too much privilege, I guess. Oh my god, hi, Pride! Can we get some yos? Yeah, for sure, Keelan. I feel like I get a lot of people who don't necessarily understand how the platform works. It's because majority of my viewer base are from TikTok, so a lot of people have either like made an account just to watch me or don't watch Twitch as their main form of content that they enjoy. And ultimately, if I explain things, then it'll make your enjoyment of the platform better and maybe find and follow other creators. Okay, I'm actually gonna try hard. <laughs> I'm not scripting this, I swear to god. I'm actually trying. <laughs> try to stay on the track. I'm trying my best, okay? This track is new, I haven't learned the lines yet. I do like this track a lot, but it's kind of hard to to see where, like, the track is, because there's not a lot- of, Like, see how there's some, like, golden gates on the edges? That's easy to see, but otherwise it's just a flat plane. Makes me mad. Bye, Deacon! We'll see you next time. Thank you for being here today. It was a pleasure, man. Good luck with your new job, and we'll see you again. Oh my god, hi, Crystal! Welcome in! we get some yo's? Yeah, you got gifted a sub on Saturday. Because I think Potato used their channel points and then I gifted you. On you. Easy, first place. 
We are gonna do a bonus Cult of the Lamb sub only tonight, so if you're a sub, you get to watch tonight. Wowie. Because we hit our sub goal earlier. Okay, now the best time of the day online. You guys know the rules. If I get a first place at all, I will gift chat a sub. Let's see if it'll happen. I was watching back a VOD from a few months ago, and there was one stream where I did online, and I got like three first place. It was crazy. Okay, I have only done one topic on here. <laughs> I think it's because... The, the Twitch tip where it says like, ooh, write down your topics for stream, I feel like that's for people who aren't good at improv -ing. Because I feel like... If you give me one topic, I can usually think of like five tangents. And since you guys are able to like bounce back and forth pretty well, we can like talk about one thing and then it'll lead to another thing for like 15 minutes. That's why like I don't use the cue card. Well, who should I do? I wanna do villager. She's a triple threat. Yeah, I'm just too cracked. Okay, prediction. Okay, prediction is up. Do you think I will get first at all today? I think we'll go for like maybe 40 minutes because we're I don't want to do Adam Crossing today. So do you think I'll get one first place in online within 40 minutes? Go Gambit. I think it's possible. Oh, that's a new account. That's a new account. See, they're called player. Also, I'd like to say, if you voted no, then you're actually a hate watcher. <laughs> 8.5k in doubt? Holy, who did that? You're crazy. Imagine I don't. <laughs> oh no. Shit. I'm rusty. <laughs> I'm still warming up. You don't get one first place, there's no more oiling for me. Okay, that's not fair. That's putting too much pressure on me, okay? I'm warming up. D okay. I I think I need new glasses. <laughs> I I can't see, okay? I can't see. I'm actually in last place. Oh no. Okay, I did not think I would spin out. <laughs> okay, this is one of my worst tracks. Don't, don't. <laughs> Believers, don't be scared. It's okay. <laughs> Do you update your glasses every two years? No. The last time I got these frames, I think I got them in. 2020 or 2019 no i got them in 2020 and every time i've gone to the doctor since they're like oh you should get new glasses and i'm like i know but i can't afford them but i did ask my sister if she can get me glasses for my birthday this year and she said maybe Okay, believers, do not worry. I can't with all 8k of my points. Do not worry. 
Stream ends when I get first place. <laughs> Wait, should we change the title? <laughs> Guys, it's gonna be a subathon. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I promise you, I'll get first place. I have 40 minutes. Oh, who put 5k in doubt? Who did it? Who did it? I think one of the things I hate most in this world is glitter. It is cute, it is pretty, but otherwise it's an absolute menace. You touch it, it gets everywhere. It's basically impossible to sweep or vacuum. I remember one time I went to the bir this birthday party at my friend's house, and this is when I was like eight, and her mom was like, we're not gonna have any glitter at this party because glitter is literally shards of glass that can get stuck in your eye. And little eight-year-old me believed that. I Okay, I don't know what glitter is made out of, but I, I think it's just made out of plastic, right? No way it's actual glass, because that'd be crazy. But whenever I work with glitter for crafts, I don't use glitter flakes, I use um, mica powders. And those are a lot easier to work with. I just looked at the prediction. There is now 12k in doubt. Thank you. I had third place, guys. I had it. You guys saw it. I had it. I just realized there's only eight people racing. This would have been my race to like win, because there's less people. Wait, hold! Okay, top three is really good because that means I'll spawn near the start the next race. Bold. Everybody hold. This race, I actually have to try hard. Nobody distract me. Ooh, airport is my best track. Okay. This race, I'm gonna shut the fuck up, okay? I'm gonna try hard. I'm not gonna talk. So nobody do anything. Man, there's a lot of green bees, look. There's six. Yeah, everybody... Where's the Twitch emote? Where is it? Everybody shh. <laughs> Bobo is such a doubter. How do you know? I don't think we can see who predicted what. I can only see the total people. Oh my god. Oh, you, you Okay, if you look, if you're on desktop, you can see who voted the most points. Bobo gambled 10,000 in doubt. You're crazy. I'm gonna win just to screw you over. Wait, Bobo, how many points do you even have? Oh no, it's my worst track! <laughs> Oh no! Fuck! There goes my lead! I, I have 40 minutes, I'm fine. I'm in second! 75k? Okay, that's not bad. It's a drop in the bucket for you. Okay, I'm not talking.
Okay, my lead is lost anyway, so it doesn't even fucking matter. <laughs> Find another game to play. Or maybe I should actually play offline so I can genuinely practice and get good. Chess? No, I am ass at chess. I think chess is my actual worst game. Oh, come on, I could have gotten top three. If only I could get like super easy maps, then I could absolutely dominate. Dropped a banana right at the end. <laughs> Mario Chess? Is there a Mario Chess game? I'm sure there's like a Nintendo Monopoly. Or like a physical board, I mean. Okay, I lost my lead. Nothing matters. <clears throat> you should play Mario DDR? No. No. I'm, I'm really bad at rhythm games. Okay, let's go back to the cue card. <clears throat> it's this track again and mirror mode. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I think I want to switch characters. I want to try a lighter one. Because I think the villager might be considered a heavy character. Wait, I'm in third? No way. This can't be real. That was a mistake. Okay, I'm throwing the red. Just so they don't have protection. Okay, they blocked it. No, what the- Damn! Okay, that was close. Somehow, I stayed in the front. That's great. That never happens. Okay, if I spawn at second, I have a really good chance of winning the next race. Everybody hold. If I would have gotten better items, 
Because I think the last item box I had was a triple green and then a mushroom. So if I would have, like, actually tried to aim... I think I could have gotten it. But damn, that one is crazy. Oh, I said I was gonna change characters. Oh well. Really evil. I got no items though. Instant Carlo. Okay. No more playing dirty. so amazed at my mom whenever she could cook because she didn't necessarily need a recipe every time. Like, she could just make soup out of nothing, it seemed like. But now that I'm able to cook for myself, I know some basic recipes. Like, I know how to make, like, a basic cream sauce, like a soup base. It's pretty easy. Like, I still need to glance at recipes occasionally, but I feel like I can make a soup from anything because, honestly, soups are the easiest shit to make. And another thing, when you're looking at recipes online, I swear, every single recipe is, like, associated with a blog post. So in order to find it, you gotta scroll past, like, ten ads, a monologue they wrote that nobody gives a shit about. I am blessed whenever their website has a skip to recipe button at the top of their page. Do you cook with tofu? Ah, uh, no, because nobody else in the house really likes it. And also, tofu is kind of expensive. Oh my god! Because right now that we're balling on a budget, I've been primarily cooking with, like, discounted meats or anything that's in, like, the discount section. Or chicken. Because chicken is usually the cheapest. <laughs> My mom doesn't usually cook because she, she usually ends up burning it. I'm trying to think. Extra flavor, exactly. <laughs> I've burnt, like... Okay, the only time I'll burn something is if I'm stovetop cooking. Where... Because usually with, like, because gas and electric stoves heat differently, you usually get, like, a more even cook with... I, I can work better with gas, in my opinion. But for some reason, <laughs> we have an electric stove here. And I always burn stuff. <laughs> I think it's because the pots and pans you bought, they heat up really quickly, so I, I forget that <laughs> everything cooks a bit faster than it should. Big blue. Will there ever be another Mario Party tournament? I think for the time being, no. 
Like for like a Meg Esports event for VIP? Probably not. Because like honestly, like playing Mario Party was fun, but... You couldn't like include as many people. That's why I think like the Mario Kart tournaments are the best. Because then people don't have to wait to play. It's usually just one go. Oh my god, that motherfucker! And since Mario Party doesn't require skill, it's pure RNG, so it just... It didn't feel as like satisfying of a win as like a Mario Kart, pro Mario Kart stream would be. Wait, second? Wait, hold- You keep doing that? I swear I'm not doing it on purpose! All of this is secretly scripted? No, it's not! If it was, don't you think I would script better content? Because me failing at a game is only so good, okay? It's gonna get old. Imagine the stream is pre-recorded. <laughs> That would be a good bit. Oh my god, my character is crying. You know who else is gonna be crying? The non-subs, because chatters we are another hour in the stream, so it's time for me to tell you if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for just $4.99, just $5. Skip your copy and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we'll keep playing for probably like 30 more minutes, so if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. <clears throat> okay, it's also time for another chocolate. I owe chat... Eight more, so this is number eight. I've had so much sugar today. Because, um... When we went out for chicken, because it was in, like, the, um, International District part of town, we went to an Asian grocery store, and they had this melon-flavored ice cream, and it's so more- it's so good. It literally tastes like- if you've ever gotten, like, a blended melon-flavored, like, bubble tea, it tastes like that, but ice cream. It's so good. But it has so much fucking sugar in it. Because I had a cup yesterday and then a cup the other day. So good. <laughs> End stream when you get first place. Mods, change the title. First place? No, don't distract me. Don't do it. Nobody do nothing. I need- Oh, I, I have such a really good lead. Look at the map. Look at the map. Oh fuck, that was a mistake. Hmm. 
me praying right now? Come on, I literally was gonna say at the start of this race, this is my map. <laughs> Look at this, first place and the boombox. <laughs> I love this. This is racist, what? That race was clean. That was good. I, I fumbled some lines, I missed. If I would have gotten every single ramp and tricked, I would have had a decent lead, but I didn't want to risk. Okay, first non-sub to type in chat gets a gifted. First non-sub. So proud of you. Thank you. I've always wanted to hear that. Okay, first non-sub. First non-sub. <coughs> Rip 3k points. Everybody, did I get first today? Yes, I did. After only 20 minutes. Believers, enjoy your points. Let's see who got the most. 24,659 points go to Keelan and three others. Let's fucking go. Everybody, any non-subs? Let's do it first again. We'll play for like 20 more minutes. 18k, dude, that's almost 100% investment, holy. Okay, everybody go Gamba again. Do you think I'll get another first? Never know. Okay, after this race, I'll gift. <laughs> Sorry, immediately 60 points in doubt. I'm, I'm at the start of the line. Surely I'll get it. Oh wait, this is 200 CC. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, but I feel like everybody's gonna struggle, not just me. Oh my god! Sorry, they ran me and I got mad. I'm in ninth. Somebody roll the clip where I got first. <laughs> Please. I need that right now. One of the things that annoys me the most in life is when you click unsubscribe from email notifications or promo emails for coupon codes and you still get those fucking emails in your inbox. I don't understand why it doesn't work. I feel like the unsubscribe button is an actual scam. Or when you click unsubscribe and then it makes you log in to manually change your email settings, it's bullshit. Cause like, I don't want to get promotional emails from a hotel I stayed at three years ago with my family. I don't have money for that shit. Will I ever play Fall Guys again? Yeah. Maybe one day. It's just Fall Guys isn't fun if you don't win. And I only won when I was in baby lobbies. When I first started playing. Remember when I played my first ever Fall Guys stream? And I got a victory royale. That was a crazy video. That was a crazy clip. Okay, fourth place. Not bad. Not bad. The clips, though? True. <clears throat> Let me think. How about I make a deal? If I get a million subs, then I'll play Fall Guys right now. <laughs> Any Oilers? 
Sorry, my chair is squeaky. It's not my bone. <laughs> I said it's not my bones cracking because I'm old. general is getting bigger and bigger it's becoming more accessible will there ever come a point where somebody has a million subs because you know how when somebody hit a million on youtube and it was a big thing but now there's channels that have a hundred million subscribers like will there ever come a point to where a twitch personality has a million subs in one month because i think the highest was like 200 and something thousand Give it like five, ten years, it'll happen. <laughs> First place, holy. Made you want to start streaming? Um, I personally started watching a lot of Twitch content in late 2020. You know, I'm one of those pandemic viewers, and I've always liked the idea of like YouTube content, like being able okay, to make something so creatively. Thank you, Keelan, for another hundred bits. Can we get some wheelings? Thank you, and you ruined my story time. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, uh, bug. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I've... <laughs> I've always really liked the idea of YouTube content because you get to be a bit more creative. Um, and it's a really good outlet to have. And I think another reason why I wanted to stream is you get to engage with people live and it's a very friendly atmosphere when you're just starting out. Like, even... Though I averaged zero viewers for my first six months, I had nobody watching. It was still nice knowing, once I did have a baseline audience, that people wanted to hang out with me, wanted to have fun, to goof and gaff. There's not been many streams where I've ended and been in a bad mood. I always end in a better mood than I started in. And I don't want to say the word community, but I feel like the viewer base that I have is really fun and it's nice to spend time with y'all. Don't worry, I'll happily interrupt your story time anytime. This is why I didn't want- This is why I never enabled TTS for a long time. Because I knew- I knew it happened. Like, imagine some heartfelt moment. Like I'm talking about my big brain. And how sad it makes me. And then somebody says TTS, like, butthole or something. <laughs> Don't try, I think that's a block term. But just imagine. Community? Ew, I know, it's a gross word. That'd be such a funny clip. Yeah, th there's so many clips of people farming TTS, and I feel like that's what a lot of people know Twitch to be. Okay, I'm decent on both of these tracks, so surely I'll get into the first place. Ooh, that's weird, Keelan. I haven't shared bits in a long time, but they've changed the UI. You know how on YouTube they have super chats to where somebody can, like, donate through the chat room and have a message pinned? I like that better than bits, personally. Or that UI function, rather. Oh, this is 200cc, everybody! Buckle up! Get boomed! Easy! This is gonna be a dub, guys. Oh, 
Oh my god, stop, stop! Slow down! Yeah, I agree. If you're watching Twitch and you want to donate to your streamer through bits or subs, do not do it on mobile. They usually charge you like a dollar more, and the only reason why they charge you that dollar more is to cover the mobile app transaction fees. So like if you have a Samsung or an Apple device, it charges you more. So if you're gonna donate, do it on desktop. <clears throat> or you can preload a Twitch gift card, I think. Oh no, please take me forward. Come on, that's so unfair. Oh, I used that too early. Moan! Oh no, that was the worst mistake I could have made. Fuck me, dude. You make one mistake, and it ruins it all. When this turtle doesn't pick you up fast enough? Oh, you're talking about Lakitu. I was like... Because when I think of turtle, I'm such a twitch head. I think of the huh emote. <laughs> I'm like, huh? <laughs> oh, there's only nine people racing. This might be a good one. What's my copy order? Hmm. I usually don't order coffee. Like, if I'm going to, like, a barista, I don't usually get a coffee. <laughs> I usually will get, like, their house special drink. I always gravitate towards fruit. Like, if I'm going to Starbucks, I usually get a refresher. But if I have to get a coffee, then I usually get an ice mocha. Caramel flavor if they have it. Because... I don't like caffeine too much. Okay, I, I like the taste of like coffee with creamer in it, but I know I shouldn't be having too much caffeine because it gives me the shakes and I don't want to get like hooked on it. Oh, come on! Still waiting for me to switch characters? I will, I keep forgetting to. <laughs> also gonna just say, I appreciate you, Kim, because you're asking questions, you're, you're farming content. We love that. You know what else I love? Ads. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but I I swear, some of my targeted ads are insane. Like, I usually get a lot of... I've been getting a lot of skincare, a lot of, like, snacks and food subscription boxes. 
a weird obscure one is I've been getting an ungodly amount of funeral home ads and funeral service ads and I just think to myself I'm not planning on dying anytime soon like oh my god <laughs> No way. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm like, nobody else, I don't think. Cause I don't, I don't, cause like, you know how like the targeted ads will like listen in on you? Cause since I've been like Googling a lot about my medical condition, I swear like my recommended ads think I'm gonna fucking die or some shit. <laughs> I don't know. Get boomed? I love matcha milk tea. Ooh, if you have the chance, try melon or banana milk. It's so good. Oh, I was so sad because we went to the Asian market the other day. Like, my favorite brand of banana milk they were out of. And I was looking forward to it, like, all week to buy it. I was very sad. Get boomed? Oh, they still cut me off. What the fuck? Okay, I got third. I'll take a third. What's my subway order? Okay, I used to work at a subway. So, if you're gonna get a Subway sandwich, if you like your sandwich toasted, definitely try the Melt sandwich. I don't know what promotional items they have now, because I haven't been to a Subway in basically two years since I quit. Um, but my go-to order is a Turkey Italiano. Turkey Italiano is the BMT, but instead of ham, you get turkey. I put all my... Su I am such an annoying person when I order. That's why I'm never going to Subway again. Because once I made the sandwich my way, I can't have it any other way. Because... Making my sandwich, you essentially make it out of order. So I put sauce down first. I get um, two lines of chipotle, three lines honey mustard, three lines ranch. You have to tell them how many lines of sauce you want. Because different stores train people improperly. I used to be a general manager, so I know all the ins and outs of a subway. Um, tell them how many lines of sauce. Because people are trained to do three passes of each. But since managers are bad and don't follow the subway corporate recommendations, people will put like... A, a, a fuck ton of sauce. So tell them how many lines of sauce you want. Okay, anyway, pro tip. So I usually put my sauce down first. I put, like I said, two chipotle, three honey mustard, three ranch. If they have the garlic aioli, get the garlic aioli. That is my favorite that they've ever had. That was a promotional item. Um, I usually will get the turkey italiano if I want something lighter. But I will get the steak add bacon, because that's pretty good. And if you're getting bacon on your sandwich, ask them to heat it up separately first. And then toast it on your sandwich normally, that way it gets like double heated, it's gonna be crispier. So, sauce down first, meat. And then, I usually get the shredded cheese, because that melts a little bit better. Um, I usually get double cheese too, because I heckin' love cheese. And then, I toast olives and spinach, and then I toast the whole sandwich. And it is bomb. Damn it, I almost had it. Not at making ads and doing emotes? You know why I enabled ads as a third party emote? Because I hate when people complain about ads. It annoys the fuck out of me. But I just realized we were talking about ads, so it makes sense. Okay, wait, seventh place? Okay, maybe I can come back? Dude, I nailed that line! Holy, I'm a pro! Does anybody think I'll place in this weekend's tournament, Type 1? <laughs> Any believers? Okay, top three are very far ahead, so I don't think I'm gonna catch up. I'll just have to fight for four- I'll have to fight for fourth place. Okay, nobody thinks I'm gonna place in the tournament. Valid. But also kind of rude. I think the only way I'll get top three is if only two people race with me. Like, legitimately. <laughs> Okay, how sad would that be if we did a Megasports tournament and then nobody competed? 
That'd be I'm in fucking den. Okay, nine minutes, guys. Nine minutes. Believers. I can do it. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. <clears throat> I would try Subway again, but Subway is really expensive. Like, nine bucks for a foot long? Insane. What's my favorite type of water? Um, I don't like bottled water at all. I've never liked bottled water. To me, it tastes like chemically. Even if it's like... Not flavored water, but you know how it says, ooh, enhanced with minerals? It tastes weird. It tastes like metal-y to me. But I love that filtered fridge water. It's so good. They're scamming with prices? I know. I think if you live in an area where your tap water isn't safe to drink, and you have to drink bottled water, I think that's a really bad sign. I think you should just move if you can afford it. Because, like, you know the whole... The, um, tra the train derailment in Ohio? I don't think I've talked about it yet. But I've been watching a lot of Hassan's coverage on it. And it's essentially a prime example of what happens when an industry is understaffed. When there's, um... Limited financial allotment of funds to like get new equipment or have more regular equipment checks be done and even if you're saving money on profits or if you're increasing profits you're using them at the you're gaining them at the expense of the workforce and the people who fall victim to mistakes of the overworked people and a lot of people think that train derailments don't happen often i think last year alone there was a few hundred. I can't remember the actual number. It was either 300 or 600, which obviously is a drastic difference between the two. But I know that there was basically one train derailment a day. And a train derailment can be not necessarily where it crashes and causes like a spill or something, but it can include where like the equipment fails or like it, it like hops off the track but goes back on. Like, there, there's a lot of- like, even in my hometown, there was, like, a massive fire at, like, a chemical plant. And they had to evacuate everybody within a five-mile radius. And I, I've told this story before. But this shit happens all the time. Because all it takes is somebody being negligent or too tired to do their job properly. And it leads to potentially fatal mistakes. Like, one of my friends, they work in a factory, and they're complaining about, like, Oh, I hate my union. I hate that I have to pay all these fees. But it's like, even before you started working there, your union advocated for you to get $25 an hour. They advocate for you to have, like, a decently safe workplace. Like, if you didn't have that union, you'd probably, you'd probably be making, like, $14 an hour. Which is our minimum wage in our state, I believe. And essentially, like, when you pay your union dues, that's for if there ever is a time when your workforce wants to strike, it'll help pay for your loss of wages. That's the whole point of the union fund, usually. But a lot of people just see it as like, oh, they're taking money from my paycheck. It's like, don't be mad at your union dues, be mad at how much you're actually being taxed. Because if you're in, like, the middle class, you're you're being taxed more proportionally to your actual income than, like, people who are in, like, the upper class. Anyway, politics is for Animal Crossing, and we're playing Mario Kart. I have ten minutes. So, three more races to get a first. 
As an engineer, I told people I wanted to work with trains and they called me weird. You're not weird. Trains are very cool. I think... Because trains... If I'm correct... Was the start of the Industrial Revolution. They allow for goods to transport in a relatively quickly time across the country. Like, trains are epic. They're useful, just like your mom. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Not my mom in the room? Is she listening to the stream? Oh no. Yeah? Okay, should I not curse anymore? <laughs> okay, why are you listening to the fucking stream on speaker? That's weird. I would never listen to the stream on speaker. The only stream I'll listen to, like, in the living room is Hassan, but that's because my roommates kind of like him. Like, <laughs> like, do you have Peason underscore 17 pulled up on the living room TV, huh? Wait, I'm in second place, holy shit. Yeah? Oh no. <laughs> I'm an iPad baby. I'm kinda glad that I was born pre-iPad kid phase. Like, the most technology I had access to as a kid was the family computer. And then, I think I had a laptop in junior high, but like late junior high. And then I didn't get a smartphone until... Very late junior high as well. Wait, no, I had a tablet. And then I would watch YouTube on my tablet, but that was when I was like 13. It's like, I was never one of those kids who would be at a sit-down restaurant, like, watching Coco Melon. I feel bad for, like, all the legitimate iPad babies. For, like, the toddlers who their parents are just like, ooh, here's an iPad. And then they use that instead of, like, actually parenting their kids. I feel sad. <laughs> Because my parents, when we were younger, they were like really engaging. They read a lot of books with us. We did a lot of activities. Like, they genuinely tried to spend quality time with us. But I think what's even worse than like being an iPad kid is when your parents are like on their phone or their tablets all day. I feel like that's more disassociative. Did you ever play Club Penguin? Yes, I did. I remember the days. When you could buy all the skin, all the clothes for free, because it was just the in-game currency. And then, they had, like, the monthly subscription plan, I think it was. Or you had to pay a premium to, like, get the nice, cool clothing. So I remember I logged in one day and all my cool skins were gone. Everything was gone. Sad. Also, the same thing happened with Pixie Hollow. Because we would go to the library and play, so I'd log to my account and play Pixie Hollow for, like, an hour. And then they did the same thing. You had to have a subscription in order to keep your nice, cool, fancy clothing. Actual scam. Okay, I feel like every service uses a subscription plan. We talked about this before. But I think the only valid, like, subscriptions you should have are, like, gym memberships. Entertainment. So, like, TV or YouTube or something. But, like, how, like, social media, like, Twitter... And I think Instagram also announced they're doing like a paid verification thing as well. Having a subscription, they're just leeching money off of you. The reason why a lot of companies are transitioning to subscriptions is because if you subscribe, it's guaranteed monthly income. That's why a lot of people were pushing like Patreons like five years ago. Because if you have somebody confirm a subscription, Usually, they're very easy to forget about. Like, they have apps that are designed to, like, help you cancel your fucking subscriptions because you lose track of them. Twitter Blue is dumb, I agree. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I think 
The people who bought Twitter Blue, I, 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 fuck. I think the people who bought Twitter Blue, ironically, are the real suckers. Because <laughs> they're like, ooh, haha, I have a check mark now, screw Elon, but it's like, you still paid the what, five, six dollars? Minus five for a stupid joke. The only like, positive thing about Twitter Blue is that you can edit your tweets. That's literally the only good thing. Oh, another thing that I don't really understand that still has subscriptions and was generally accepted to like keep subscribing for is newspaper websites. Like you're paying for access to information. I don't understand how that's a paid service. Oh my god! Can we just end stream now? <laughs> I've peaked. I've peaked. Yes, I do. I think bike riding is one of my favorite forms of exercise. I haven't ridden a bike in like three months now because I left my bike at my parents' house and I don't want to get it because it's probably um, rusted over already. <laughs> but I didn't learn how to ride a bike until I was in like sixth grade, I think, because my parents were too scared to have me practice. But I like it. It's fun. It's easy. The only scary part really is like driving on the road. So I usually drive on the sidewalks. I do want to save up to get an elliptical at some point. Or, like, if I do go to the gym, I'd probably do, like, some type of, like, group aerobics, like Zumba or something, and then maybe do an elliptical. But the issue is, since, like, I'm very short, usually any time I've gotten on an elliptical, the, the pedals are too far down. Because I'm short. And then I had to ride a bike when I was 15. No problem with that, you know, doing shit later on in life is fine. But I think if, genuinely, if there were more bike racks in public, then I would ride my bike more. Because I think here, in the new town that we live in, it's more densely populated. I don't think I've- I don't think I've literally seen any bike racks. And then in my hometown, there was only one bike rack, but then- which is in the downtown area. They used to have one at, like, the shopping center, but then they took it away because people would loiter at it. But I think there should be more public bike racks. I genuinely think if there was, then people would use them more. Are they all- I think most every bus station has, like, a bike locker for people who commute can use. But you have to request and pay for them. Yeah, I would get an elliptical now, but we don't have any room in the garage. So sad. Unless you guys want to see an elliptical in the background. <laughs> Gotta wait a bit. Someone stole your bike seat? I feel like people will steal the silliest shit. Like one time my sister locked her bike up at the bus stop. And she came back and somebody took off like the rubber grips on the handlebars. And... I understand the reason why people steal. The only reason people steal is because they don't have money to provide for their basic necessities, ne necessities usually. But it's like, why would you take the little rubber grippies? Is that really gonna sell for a lot? It's like, just take the whole fucking bike, dude. There was one time somebody stole my bike, right? I had it locked up behind my workplace and I had it chained to a chain link thing. I had it locked to a chain link fence. But I had it locked far enough to where the people could, like, unwind the chain link. So I came back from work and it was gone. I was only inside for, like, 30 minutes and they stole it within 30 fucking minutes. Anyway. And, like, two weeks later, I saw some guy riding my bike around town. And I was with my friend. I was, like, I was tugging their arm. I was like, that's my bike. That's my fucking bike. 
And jokingly, <laughs> he had said, if I see your bike, I'm gonna steal it back. I'm like, okay, sure. And I was like, oh, that's my bike? And he did nothing. <laughs> I mean, granted, I didn't want him to do anything because I didn't want to see a fight. But still, it's funny. Did you call the police? Um, I didn't call the police, but I did. My dad helped me file a missing bike report, but literally it does nothing because the police don't give a fuck about anything. Anyway. Uh, my local police force has killed people, so I don't really... I don't think it's best to call them unless you absolutely need to. Um, <laughs> anyway. Hi, Caspian. Can we get some peace out to Yos? Welcome in. Enjoy that gifted sub, man. I feel like sometimes people steal just to cause chaos. I think that's a very minute amount. Oh my fucking god. Because if you think about it, if everybody had their basic necessities, then there would be no need to steal. I think the only people who'd steal to like cause trouble are people who have other stressors in their lives. And if you just look at the whole American... Like, if you look at the daily life of Americans, a lot of your... Oh my god. A lot of your daily stress, your troubles, could be solved if you had, like, universal income. If you had healthcare. Because um, if you think about it, all those lack of resources, it adds so much stress to you subconsciously. I don't know. Fucking like lib-ass Andy answer. <laughs> Okay, chatters. I think we can end it here. I've peaked. I've gotten a first place. I've gotten a lot of 12 places. So, I did get a dub today, but did I get another first? Not this time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, believers can't win every time, you could say. Okay, so Chaz. I know short stream, but... We did hit our daily sub goal earlier, so chat did unlock a bonus stream in the evening. So right now it's about 2, so I think I will start that Cult of the Lamb sub only stream at like 4 or 5 p.m. Because we have to wait um, 2 hours before we can go live again. Still didn't switch characters? Fuck, you're right. <laughs> um, so chat is... We can go ahead and switch gears to calligraphy, so anybody who donates to the channel or uses their channel points will get the name written, so you can redeem right now or donate up to you. Okay. It's so sad that most people can't afford basic necessities. Yep. Yep. I hate capitalism. Getting some music on for you guys. Let's do something upbeat today. Ooh. Funky Kirby OSTs. Freaking love your streams. Remember me when you get big? Of course. I've said this before, but maybe... If I become a 10k Andy, all of my regular chatters now will give VIP. I don't know. But thank you, Chip. I appreciate that. I'm glad you're having fun. I know you're new, but I'm glad you're enjoying your time here. <laughs> Why are you snickering, Kim? Kim will not get VIP. <laughs> Everyone but Kim. <laughs> Oh shit, that's my phone. No leaks. Oh wait, the camera froze! Oh no. Oh my god, what is this? Huh? Um, if you gift five subs to the channel by the end of the month, so you have a week left, you get a custom card drawn. Wowie! Um, gentle reminder to um, Titans and Keelan, make sure you send a picture today. 
What does Psy2 Snicker mean? Um, nothing really. People either use it to laugh at me when I fail or when they're being sarcastic. Does it mean excited? No, I don't think anybody has used it to be excited. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody has used Peace I2 Snicker in a positive way. That's cute. Our one wholesome chatter. Also, if you gift five subs, you get your name written in rainbow for free. Wink. <laughs> Okay, we had a good handful of Oilers today, so let's get started. Yeah, don't worry, Keelan. You got a week to send a picture, so you're good. Big handful of boilers today. <clears throat> I need to donate some clothes to get new clothes? That's what I want to do too, because... When I moved, I didn't really, like, donate anything. I just packed everything that I already had, and anything that I didn't want, I just left at home. <laughs> I think I left, like, a few, like, picture frames and blankets at my parents' house. And my bike. So, when we unpacked everything, I went through all my clothes to see what I wanted to keep, so I just have, like, a big garbage bag full of clothes that I need to donate, but I need to wait until one of my roommates can drive me to Goodwill one day. Like, I feel it's hard to donate. Um, I think it depends on where you do so, because centers like Goodwills or like Bayou Villages or like places like that locally you usually just drop the shit off. You just have to make sure your clothes are clean. But I know if you like donate through consignment shops, it's a longer process, because I think in my hometown we had two consignment shops, and the process was you had to like pre schedule a time online, and then you had to bring in. All your clothes you had to hand them on hangers and then they would like fold through them and then they had to like you had to come back in a few days because they had like to sort through your clothes to see which were good which were like good enough to sell in their store and then just like a lot of unnecessary shit and it's not like i have like okay i have some nice clothes but like nothing crazy does goodwill just take them ours do uh, i'm trying to think the last time i donated yeah, you just, you just have to, like, sort them by, like, what type of thing. So, if you have, if you're donating, like, DVDs and then clothes, you have to put them in, like, separate bags. Because it makes their jobs a little bit easier. That's what our centers had us do. I mean, you can always call your local stores ahead of time to see what their process is like. That's always your safest bet.
pre-planning, I have found that I do a lot more planning ahead of time now. Like if I'm going to a restaurant or going to like a new area, I will check out like all the local maps. I'll check out bus routes if I can't get like a Lyft or an Uber home. I will look at menus ahead of time. Okay, so <clears throat> thank you, Deacon, for the eight month resub and Keelan for 300 bits. I appreciate you both. Don't misspell my name this time? I didn't. I would never do such a thing. I promise this isn't brown, it's like a golden rod yellow. That's me? Ain't no way! But once again, thank you for gifting today, Kim. It's your first to the channel, so thank you. Oh, you do? You're, you, you are using that badge. Cool. Not gonna lie. A big reason why I like donating, like cheering bits or gifting subs to a channel is just so I can have a different badge in chat. I like to feel special. Non subs want to chat. Any any non subs want to sub? Any non subs? I I actually forgot. Whoopsie. Quickly, quickly. Any non subs watching? If you're lurking too. Or if we get a new follower right now, I would gift you a sub. Has anyone ever subbed during a bonus stream? Um, no. Because <laughs> usually those subscriber-only streams are for regulars, so... I don't think many people would discover me during a sub-only stream. Any non-subs? You guys got five seconds. Okay, random. Let's go random. Let's see who's gonna get it. Pause jam. 
Oh my god, it went to rainy? Huh? Enjoy that sub, Rainy. The one thing I will quote Rainy on is that she has always said that my emotes are the best emotes on Twitch, so. It is very true. Very, very real and true. Queen is gifting, yeah. I gotta pay back to the community. You know, I believe in socialism. <laughs> this is me paying my taxes to chat. But... But not gonna lie, the race that I did get first in was a crazy race, wasn't it? I think I held, like, first for a whole lap and then top three for basically the whole race. And not gonna lie, if somebody has a sub in someone's chat, they're more likely to chat because they'll have the emotes. So I think it's good if you're small and you want to kind of build a closer community in the chat, gifting subs is a good way. Because it incentivizes people to actually watch the live, people who can't necessarily afford to subscribe every month. It encourages people to use your emails in the chat. And it's exciting and fun. And then you guys can't say that I don't do shit. Because I gift you guys a sub basically every week. Minus five dollars every week. <laughs> Plus, I also think it's exciting. When you receive a gifted from the actual streamer. I still- wait, do I still have the screenshot? Wait, hold. I think I saved it on my phone. Because I received a gifted sub from Amaranth. Because she had to gift her chat a hundred randomly. And I received one of hers. It was like a year ago. Oh, I still have it! Okay, do I have Do Not Disturb on? Yeah, I do. Okay. Look, I have proof. I have proof. I got a tier 1 from the Amaranth one day. This was... Um, November 28th, 2021. I was like, holy! Because, like, just imagine it. Being one... Of the like 5k people watch it actually get it. Insane. Okay, now that I think about it, it's fucking cringe that I screenshotted it. <laughs> well, I think I had it on my phone because I had screenshot it and then I sent it to my friend. I was like, oh my god, I feel so cool. I dropped the pen. I mean, that's the glory of receiving a random gifted. Because sometimes, if you receive a random gifted from a channel you don't watch too often, you're more likely to actually watch their streams. And then it also incentivizes you to actually click on that stream. Because you know how Caspian came earlier? They're like, oh my god, I got a gifted today, thank you. Like, it makes people actually click on the stream if they were just get a random gifted. Because the there there is an algorithm for who receives a random gifted. It usually goes out to recent followers of a channel. People who actively lurk. People who actively chat in a channel. And then just random people from there. So basically, if you're non-sub watching, chat, and then you might get a random gifted. It didn't work on you, but that's because you subscribed right away, Keelan. You slept on your first stream, so you're an outlier. Okay, so this was our last Euler name today.
Next will be channel point names. So if you want me to write your name for free, all you gotta do is use your channel points. Any redeemers? Once again, thank you, Kim, first time gifter, Mac, and Kobobo for gifting today. I appreciate you both. <clears throat> but yeah, gentle reminder any clippers? Whoever makes the most and best clips during the month of February will get a gift card. Crystal won it last month. You have to make sure the moments you clip are entertaining and titled well. Because they will be used in the best of compilations every month. So chatters, this is our last name of the day. So if you want me to write your name, all you gotta do is use your channel points. This is like a gray green. Looks more gray on camera, but see it's green. Last wait, I didn't cross the T. Damn it. It says the rainbow's out of stock, yeah. We only do one rainbow name a day. Because it takes longer to write. So if you want to get the rainbow name next time, you gotta redeem it right as you see it when you enter stream. I wonder why. Hmm. Peace I too. Hmm. Okay, last call, last call. Five. Four. Three, two, pause jam. One, we're done. We're done. Stalling. I'm gonna do red because that made me really mad. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I like when you guys stall, it's funny. And I get more runtime so I can run more ads. Well, this is a pretty red. It looks more saturated on camera, but it's this nice, deep red. Lime? Okay, thank you, Kobobo. Now, actually, last call. Change a painting. Okay, we can do that real quick. Dude, look at my couch. Look how much shit is on here. It's all just art supplies. Okay. So, Kobo Redeem, change the painting. If you don't know, all of these back here, I made myself. Um, you can check out my other social media accounts. I have a separate... TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Please go follow the TikTok. I do speed paintings with very philosophical monologues. But we're gonna change out one of the far paintings. I have them on the wall with just thumbtacks. 
Has the painting ever been changed? I think people have redeemed it like three times. It's not a popular one, but it's fine. Dude, that one looks crazy on camera. That color shift. My finger slipped, Kappa. Look, very nice. Like I said, um, I'll be able to start selling paintings. So basically, I'm gonna repaint replicas of all my other paintings I've done and sell them. So chatter, save your money if you wanna buy a painting later. Probably in March. Nope, April, I mean. My finger slipped. You know what? My finger also slipped because I I might need to run an ad because we are three minutes into stream. Three minutes? <laughs> three hours. <laughs> so if you are new to the channel, make sure you click the follow button wherever it is. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. But if you want to avoid that ad, all you got to do is subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad for viewing. Also, if you subscribe right now, we are going to do a bonus evening stream. That is exclusive for subscribers. Anyway, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. It's been a long three minutes, I know. Doing a replica sounds hard. Not necessarily. I think it won't be too bad because some of these designs, like this pink one, this one easily can be remade with a stencil. This one as well. But these two would have to be done freehand, so it's going to take just about as much time as making the original. But I will have the colors pre-mixed and the original design concept made. So making a replica will probably take an hour less than making an original. Um, because I don't want to sell 2D prints. Be uh, let me explain that really quick again. I think this one... In a way, first I jetter. Hello. Welcome in, man. Thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate you. Thank you. Can we get some... Ayos? Thank you. Well, welcome in, man. Thank you. Um... What was I gonna say? Okay, so... If you look at this painting, the camera might pick it up. But I have close-ups on my IG that emulate the texture a bit more. Okay, you're not going to be able to see it on this camera. But, um... Because when you paint physically, you can, like, see the individual brush strokes, right? In this painting. Um, I put the white down thick, right? So you can actually, if you run your feet, don't touch paintings, okay? Unless it's your own. But if you run your finger, you can feel the grooves of the actual brush strokes, and I think it's a really cool texture. Um, but with a 2D print, you don't have that texture. And I feel like that kind of like takes away from what art is meant to be. So that's why I've decided to not do prints. I would do replicas. It won't necessarily make my work as accessible, but you're still getting like the full effect of what my work is supposed to be, I guess. Okay, so we had another hundred bits. Holy, thank you. I appreciate that, man. Can we get some more yo's in chat? Also, if you follow, you can type in the chat. Thank you. <laughs> wow, we wow. <laughs> oh wait, I I don't even have the calligraphy camera on, Lamau. 
Hey, yo, thank you for following, Rico. Thank you. Here. You can chat, Rico. Just don't say anything bad and you get banned. <laughs> I thank you, yeah. Welcome in, man. Can I ask? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I have like follower 10 minute mode because um, we've had problems in the past. Oh, give them a sub? Dude, rare redeemer Tanuki? Okay, hold. You get a gifted sub, Rico. Oh, also, can we get some meals for Rico? If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Um, since you followed, you do have exclusive emotes that you can use in the chat. So have fun with those, man. Man, you guys making me give two subs today? SMH. I'm gonna be broke. Okay, wait, it's... I gotta reload my computer. My second laptop. I almost clicked the ban button. <laughs> Lump <Lomo. laughs> Man is so close to the gift of sub button. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll make you give another. No. Hey yo, uh, thank you Tanuki for redeeming gifting that sub to Rico. Let's go. I could have subbed with Prime. Fuck. Okay, save her Prime for next month. Wait, hold. Thank you for another gifted Kobobo. Wait. Huh? Huh? I trade. What the fuck? Chat is lit. Don't say lit. That's cringe. Okay, everybody hold. I think this is a first. I don't think this has ever happened. A stream with two hype trains? What the fuck? Okay, you guys know the drill. If you subscribe with Prime Tier 1 or gift a sub or share bits, you can get a chance to get exclusive Twitch emotes in the chat. Does anybody have hype emotes of their own? What is your favorite? My personal is the Hype High. <laughs> hey, yo, thank you for the gifted Keelan. Thank you. Thank you. Can we get some Wheelins and Wobobos in chat? Thank you. My sister just texted me. When are you ending stream? <laughs> Um, like, 30 minutes, Lamau. But thank you, Keelan. Thank you, Kobobo. I appreciate you both. I do see- Oh, you got a whole bunch, Rico. Damn. Oh, you want to see all the ones that I have? I have a lot, too. I used to be a mega oiler. I have- I have 31 hype emotes. So chatters, see if you have a prime sub available. I need everybody's primes. How? Um, what I do, the pro strat, okay, the pro strat, is anytime you see a hype train in a chat room, just cheer a hundred bits. Because I usually watch a lot of um, larger streamers, so they usually get like level five hype trains all the time, right? So I would just drop a hundred bits just to get a level hot, a level five hype emote. <laughs> Easy. I only have three, not bad for being on Twitch for like two-ish weeks, exactly. I mean, it's very easy to get the level one emotes, but it's very difficult to get the higher tier emotes. And it's cool because- oh, thank you Kim for redeeming. It's cool because they rotate the emotes throughout the year. So you aren't necessarily going to get all of the same ones. 3k bits incoming? No way. If you're lying, you get banned. I'm kidding. Huh? Okay. Go bubble, you need to stop. But thank you. Five gifted? 
Sorry, why is my voice so weird today? Can we get some wool bobos and jet? Holy moly. Thank you, Kobobo. Oh, fuck. You already gifted today. Sorry to version name. Shit. We should have waited. But thank you. Can we get some more wool bobos and jet? First? Are you number one? Are you, though? Did you bump Keelan? Uh-oh. Drama. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to make the executive decisions. Because since Kobobo gifted five, I'll remake this page. Just so you can get the rainbow today. I don't want to scam you. So I'll write everybody's names again. <coughs> and then Keelan. I don't want to miss out on anybody, you know? Oh, um, Rico, since you're new, anybody who donates to the channel gets their name written in our rich person journal. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I thought you said you were broke, Keelan. What the fuck? But thank you for another five gifted. It's a fight. Oh, no. Oh, no. But thank you, guys. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Okay, now you both need to stop. You know, I'm not gonna exploit my working class subscribers. Okay? Couldn't let that slide. Oh no, I see. Oh no. Okay, what do I do now? Do I have to remake this page too? I'm perplexed. What do I do? I can remake this page. Should I do it? <laughs> uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, re rewrite, reset. Guys, we're doing a lot of calligraphy today. But thank you, Chatters. We're at a level 4 hype train. Holy moly. I feel overstimulated so much as Zabin. Dude, me too. Because, like, I appreciate any donation that I do receive for stream. Because I know I personally prefer to donate to creators that I like and enjoy watching. And it's really nice to know that people feel that way towards me, you know? But thank you all. And don't ever feel bad if you can't donate to a channel. That's totally fine. Because just chatting and lurking is more than enough. Wait, did I change my long-term sub goals? Oh yeah, 80 subs is our next long-term. I thought I changed it. <clears throat> Okay, my question is, why are we farming more on a random-ass Mario Kart stream than the fucking Valentine's Day stream? <laughs> is there a difference between a normal and a Prime sub? Yes. A Prime sub is free. You can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch by going to your settings. And if you sub normally, it's just like a regular paying subscription. I just linked um, explanations in the chat. No, I'm gonna have to eat all the chocolate. Oh no! That's 10, 12, 
to oh my god okay 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 i will eat another one now i will eat another one now okay because i i owed two. i owed seven seven plus twelve 19. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna get so fat. Okay, that's plus one chocolate. Good thing you bought multiple boxes. Yeah. My, uh, okay, you know how I said I was gonna give the other box to my friend? They canceled, so. They said I could just eat my chocolate. <laughs> so I do have another box. <laughs> okay. 12 plus 7 minus 1. So I, I owe 18. Oh my god. 18 chocolates. Holy fuck. Guys, we have 30 seconds left on that hype train! If you want a chance to get exclusive emotes, donate to the channel! This one's coffee flavored. It does not taste good. Okay, thank you guys. We had a level four with 13 subs and 200 bits. Thank you guys. Did you guys get a new emote? Oh, that's actually cute. Do I have that one? Oh, I do. Hug you. Hype trains in one stream unheard of. I've only really seen it happen in like big streamers. Cause okay. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. You know why I do a ad like transition every hour? It's to encourage people to subscribe every hour. Cause you can get a hype train once every hour. So I'm subconsciously Getting you guys used to the idea of subscribing, right? And then also subconsciously hoping if my channel ever gets big enough to get a hype train every hour. Because that's what Hassan does. And he gets, he gets like, sometimes like hundreds of gifted every hour. It's crazy. <clears throat> so, you know, I'm farming. I couldn't let Kobobo take first away from me. This is like Kobobo and Mac fighting. Where's Mac? Magic? If Mac was here, Mac would get very mad. <laughs> WWE, honestly. Do you have to renew Prime every month? Um, you don't- it's- it's- You have to- you only have to connect to your Amazon account once But you do have to manually resubscribe every month So you just have to click on the Subscribe button underneath the channel information every month So it's not that hard It's easy And it's a free five bucks, you know?
Oh, also, Kobobu, you are eligible for a sketch card, so just make sure you send me a picture by the end of the month. Yeah, I personally, since I'm in college, I get the I have the Amazon Prime student for six months, but once I was ineligible because like the six months was essentially a trial, I still only pay eight bucks a month, so it's not that bad. Because I use my Prime every month, so that's a five dollar value, and then I get free shipping. So, you know, I can budget in eight bucks. I miss September. I mean, if they made September every month, then it wouldn't be special. But it would be cool if when you gift in batches, like, you know how they have the preloaded, like, 5, 10, 50, and then 100? It'd be cool if, you gave, if they gave the consumer a discount. Like, if you gift five, then you get, like, a dollar off or something. If you gift in batch sums. What's September? Um, during September, for the past few years, Twitch had a promotion to where if... They, they change it every year. But, um... If you do a regular tier one, it'll be like a dollar off if it's your first time sub. Um, sometimes for gifted subs, they offer like a dollar off every sub you gift. So it's just a promotion to encourage people to donate more. Sometimes they'll do it. I can't remember if they did one year in turn with a charity. But they're usually sponsored by some third party company to do so. Would you ever play Sims on stream? Probably not. I feel like Sims is not my type of game. I think it'd be kind of hard to commentate. Well, Keelan gifted six subs today. <clears throat> and I just don't know if I'd enjoy it. It, I think it'd also be kind of like Cult of the Lamb where people watch just to see what their character does because like people usually name it after their viewers, right? Which is cool. It's a nice way for people to feel involved. But I don't like games where you kind of just sit and let the game play out, I guess. Because that's what The Sims is, essentially. You build your home and then you watch what the little characters do. You play God. Um, we had Keelan with six gifted today. And then 300 bits. Thank you, Keelan. No more for the rest of the month. You're broke. You're brokey. Aren't bits cheaper too? I don't think bits are cheaper during September. Two rainbows on the same page? Yeah, you're pretty cool, huh? <laughs> okay. Not gonna lie, if my favorite streamer did this shit... I would donate every day. Because I feel like when you offer some sort of incentive to having people subscribe, then people obviously will be more inclined to do so. But I think the calligraphy is fairly unique. I haven't seen any other streamer do this. Because like you, people like have a whiteboard and write their name like shittily on the whiteboard. 
but I haven't seen like actual calligraphy. Because I feel like this is a lot more, you could say worthwhile and intentful than just random scribbles of Sharpie. Have you ever run out of pages? Um, in the follower journal, we're on journal number two. On the channel for redemption journal, we're still on journal number one, but he's double-sided. But on this journal... Oh, I have... This is technically my last page. Oh, shit. Oh my god, does anybody remember this? None of y'all fuckers will remember this. <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna tear it out. <laughs> I forgot that I used this journal for that. Oopsie. This is actually my last page. Holy. Um, I was in a collab. It was like a lover host type stream, but for smaller streamers. And... This is actually how I met Scootish, because I was invited on the show last minute because somebody dropped, so cutely recommended that I do it. So basically, um, I did a yandere bit, pretending to be badly in love with Scootish, but nobody knew I was doing a bit. Because a lot of my jokes were like, oh, I'm the crazy psycho bitch, I'm the yandere. But nobody knew I was doing a bit, so I feel like I weirded people out. And I was the person who joined last minute. And the only person who knew I was doing the bit was the host and then Cutie Lee. So, like, the host, um, Kotsi, he would be, like, egging me on. Like, kind of going with my bit, but everybody else is just kind of like, ah, ha. <laughs> They're just awkwardly laughing along. And like, I prepped jokes, I prepped props for that stream, and I only had like four hours to prep. I did a lot of shit, okay? I don't think I got enough credit for what I did. Slash J slash SRS. But that was literally a year ago, so I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. Seeing you do a yandere bit would have been so funny. I know, right? The VOD is obviously gone because it's been a year, and I don't think Kotsi re-uploads his VODs. So it's basically the footage is gone. <laughs> Nobody would have known what happened. I did react to a few clips of that stream. So it might be on my YouTube VOD channel like from a year ago. If anybody wants to scrub and find it. But I haven't been invited on a collab show since, so I think that's a bad sign. <laughs> no, I was invited to do the Mario Kart tournament a few months ago, I think in November. But that wasn't like a, a collab collab thing. No, you can only link your Twitch or you can only link your Amazon Prime to one Twitch account. 
can't double dip. I tried that already. <laughs> because I tried to link my um, art account to my Twitch or my Prime, it didn't work. Because Twitch knows what you're doing. They know you're trying to scam. Wait, cool, were you gifted one, two, seven today? Holy moly. You crazy. Oh, your brother has their account linked? Damn. Just steal it back. <laughs> okay. So I updated Kobobos, we updated Keelins, and now we gotta add Rico to the journal. First time chatter, first time cheer, kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Have you ever heard of Leo Nasty? No, is it bad? It's so strange, I could have sworn the stream was meant to end like 30 minutes ago. Yeah, you guys stalled. You give me a second hype train, which I'm really mad about. <laughs> but genuinely, thank you guys. I appreciate you all. <laughs> Who donated? Thank you. They're an artist? Oh, okay. I'm just clueless. Okay, chatters, now we're done. No more stalling. I actually have to end the drinks. My sister wants to take a bath. Oh, once again, thank you, Rico, for cheering 200 and triggering that hype train. Thank you. Okay, chatters, let's end it here. Um, you guys broke multiple sub goals today, so I will do an evening quote of the lamb at around. 4. 4 p.m. Okay, so make sure to come back. I will be live again tonight and probably tomorrow with Omori. So if you haven't watched the Omori streams, click on the videos tab or watch my YouTube VOD channel to catch up on the lore. So we will be continuing that tomorrow. I also will be announcing the next Meg Esports tournament tomorrow on stream. So make sure to tune in. Um, I had a lot of fun today. It was nice doing story times, goofing and gaffing with you all. As usual. Thank you for hanging out. Any chatter stickers and anybody who donated to the channel, holy moly. And thank you, Tanuki, for gifting Rico a sub with your channel points. That was very kind of you. Um, I'll see you guys later tonight or tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Is there anything else that I need to say? I won't be there for the Sunday tourney. Wait, chatters hold. I'm sad to hear that, Tanuki, but... I might get top three then. Holy moly. Holy shit. But damn. We'll see you next month, Tanuki, then. Everybody is ju jumping for joy hearing that. <laughs> but no, we can't tell everybody that you won't be there. It's only for us, okay? <laughs> yeah, today was fun. I wasn't gonna stream today, but I was like, nah, I gotta. I gotta. I would genuinely. It's always a fun time. I I'm smiling right now, because I'm like, so... I was gonna say content, but that's a weird word to say. <laughs> I need to train, yeah, everybody... Now that Snooki won't be there on Sunday, we all might have a chance. 
Ooh, it might be interesting to see who might get top three this time then. Because if Tanuki Reese is guaranteed. Actual sweat, but we love that. Hmm, it'll be interesting. Okay, bye-bye. I'll see you guys tonight.